He is out interviewing successful business owners. What is working now? So, Scott, with that, say hello to the listening audience. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me. Today, we're talking with Tim Kistler with Kistler's Global Market. Tim's business has been growing dramatically, and he and his wife own a beauty salon in Orange, California. Their family's been in the business for over 40 years. What's interesting about his business is how he's growing the company and his revenues, even in a tough economy, and doing it in non-conventional ways. Tim, thanks for being with us. Hey, Scott. Hey. Hey, Tim, thanks for being on the show. Yes, and we have Jennifer with us. Jennifer, say hello. Hi, Tim. How you doing? Hey, Jennifer. Uh, you're fantastic there. It sounds like you're here in my office talking. You're just so, you're as cool as a cucumber there. I, uh, oh, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Uh, so you're, you're just so, you Jim, are, you are just, she is just what you guys are hearing there. She's inform informative, but she's patient. She's patient with us small guys, you know, that uh, that we uh, still have our calculators and we still got our Excel spreadsheets <laughs> and a bunch of papers, a bunch of receipts. She was she was reading my mail there. I know she was, Jennifer. <laughs> Tim, thanks for being with us. Tell us a little bit more about your business and how you're growing your company. Um, well, as you said, we have a salon downtown Orange, Old Town Orange there behind Watson's Drugstore, and we've been there 20 years in the Old Town area. And as you said, my wife and I, you know, our families have both been in the business 40 years. We uh, we found a, an organic skin care, and all of a sudden we were in, we were thrown in the middle of importing and exporting from Israel a product called Olea Essence. And all of a sudden we had inventory, and we had containers coming into New York, and we all of a sudden realized that the bookkeeping system we had been using for hair cutting was not working. And uh, but where do you go? Who do you talk to? And uh, it was we were in a we were in a spot. You now, Tim, the thing that I'm really interested in about with your business is you had a traditional hair salon in the family for for generations, for a long time, for decades, and but you came up with a new strategy to grow your business. This this new product that you found overseas. Talk to me a little bit about about that creativity because I know a lot of business out, business owners out there are facing challenges, and somehow, some way, you found a way to grow your business. Well, we've been we've been watching this internet business, and we wanted to get a shopping cart of some sort. We were going to sell. We have a private label, our own Kistler shampoo and conditioners, what have you, and we sell retail. Then we uh, so we went and we developed a shopping cart, but we knew there was more to that. And uh, you know, Bill Gates is saying there's going to be two types of businesses, and there's the ones that are going to be on the internet, and the ones that are going to be out of business. And I don't know, that's pretty strong, and that's uh, Gates's opinion. But we know that there's a lot moving towards the internet business. And so we got this, uh, and this was a whole new learning curve for us. And yeah, we, um, my wife was looking for a chemist actually because we just didn't believe that the skincare out there was, is what we wanted and what she wanted to put on her skin. And being in the beauty business all these years, we knew what we were looking for. But while traveling in Israel, we found this product, Olea Essence, and uh, it's all natural and organic. And we uh, decided, heck, we don't need a chemist. We need these guys. So then we had our product, and we had the product we were going to put up on the shopping cart, and uh, we expanded from there. So yeah, we were looking for uh, residual income. I'm 56 years old, and uh, you know I can't, I won't be able to stand behind a chair forever. And so we uh, we got creative, and with the help of my wife, uh, we've been working side by side for 30 years, and uh, so we've launched this. Uh, it's been about four years now. Tim, I can totally feel I can totally feel with you on that one. Working with one's wife. People ask me what it's like to be self-employed, and with my wife as my fully licensed partner, I get to tell them, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what it's like in your household. I, yeah, I feel this is a natural way to do it. Actually, we uh, we love working together, and it's, uh, we can create together, and uh, and we, yeah, we take it home, too, and we uh, you know we talk business 24-7, but she's real good about that, and she's quite the businesswoman herself. So. Now, Tim, you talked about this great product that you found overseas, but actually distributing it and getting it to the customer, that can be a challenge for business owners. How did you do that? Well, that is a challenge, and and we were um, strategizing, and, and uh, we actually had taken a business class uh, by Peter Daniels about four years ago, and he had a step to go through as well. I, I recommend, you know, everybody just continue to learn out there, continue to listen to shows like this, and, you know, your peers in the industry, and so we, um, we decided to, um, you know, we thought it out and said, we got to drive people to the site. That's the next thing is you can put up a shopping cart, but how are you going to drive people to your site? So we started gathering uh, email addresses, and uh, th we have a uh, tourism 
uh, business over there. People come to a mill that we have in Israel, uh, the uh, manufacturer has, and he produces this uh, skin care there. And so these uh, tourists were coming back to the U.S., and then they were looking to rebuy the product. Uh, they had bought it as gifts and what have you. So we are capturing and, and contacting and reaching out to them, and uh, we, uh, we believe, uh, you know, the bottom line is customer service. And uh, we had uh, six orders go out today. So let me get this right. You've got customer service, and uh, one of the things that I've heard you say, Tim, and I, I, want to, I want to drill in on this because it's a strategy, and that is I heard you talk about you started with your basic business, which is beauty and beauty care products. Then what you right. did is you looked for a good product. Not only yep. did you bring in that product and start selling it in your own retail, but you looked for other ways and other venues to sell that product. Yeah. Then you realized that there was an add-on cash machine, if you will, from our uh, friend. An add-on cash machine of capturing the people actually traveling over to Israel who do the, the whole touristy thing in the shorts and the, and the tennis shoes walking through the mill and looking at how the product is actually made. Now, I've actually, Lorraine and I have actually had the pleasure of being on some of these tours where you see the, you know, the vintner and the vineyards and things, and it, it really is fascinating. But the thing that I love about what you've talked about is your innovation is not like revolutionary. It's incremental. It's a step at a time. Now, it's had a revolutionary impact on your business, if I am hearing you correctly. Is that right? Uh, definitely. It's uh, increased the It's probably a third of our overall operation now. Uh, and growing, and with the help of Jennifer there, um, you know, she's helping us uh, dot the I's and cross the T's, and uh, now we're seeing where we're going, too, because this is, uh, we're trying to build, what we're trying to do is really build a platform, because we don't want to lay this, this large business on, we want to make sure we have, and we didn't even know that a company like us needed a controller, but then, and the day I got the phone call from her office, and, and the way uh, they spoke, that was a language that I said to myself, I'm missing this aspect of my business. And, and, that's, uh, and from there, I feel comfortable as we continue to grow this company now. And Tim, you know, some of the benefits uh, working with Jennifer, you, you've got access to that information daily. Or, you know, what, what are some of the, what's the biggest impact that having that data um, it was so, it being so easily accessible, how has that helped you with your business planning? Well, as you guys were talking about there, uh, matter of fact, um, Jim was saying uh, successful businesses but un unsuccessful business plans. And I think that you know, there's a lot of us out there. You know, we, uh, we're running a good business. We know how to run it. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, Jennifer, she did the same thing with me as she gave her tip today. Uh, I had to designate some cards that I was only going to use for the business, an ATM card or a Visa. And we are now tracking a lot of that petty cash that wasn't being tracked and uh, wasn't getting in the system. It was just too many, you know, $5 receipts here, $10 receipts there. So, If you don't measure it, you can't manage it, and that's what she <laughs> helps you do, it sounds like. Hey, Tim, another question about your product. Tell me a little bit about your product real quickly. Um, what's fantastic about it? Why are people buying into it? And how can people contact you if they want to learn more? Well, we're in Whole Foods. Uh, we... Um, we tried and tested this thing in our salon for a year, year and a half, because we didn't know what we uh, what we were bringing home. My wife said it's like bringing a baby home from the hospital. I mean, we really didn't know. I mean, we tried it, but we started testing on customers, what have you. We realized that this was a real deal. It's all natural. It's organic. It's got it's an olive oil based product. Skincare. It heavily moisturizes. Um, it has essential oils in it. It's got sea buckthorn. Uh, I heard Dr. Oz talking the other day about sea buckthorn. Uh, amazing product, tea tree oil, uh, lavender oil, grape seed oil. Uh, we've got a lip balm that has uh, avocado oil in it, and we found out avocado oil has actually got some natural sunblock in it. Uh, so we, it's, it's, or, it's organic, and uh, Whole Foods took it on, and they, they know the product. We were in Sherman Oaks. We sat down. We showed them the product. Um, I actually was out at a trade show. We, were, we go to these small trade shows. We were out at a Jewish festival there in Irvine. Uh, Whole Foods happened to have a booth next door about four years ago. They sampled our oil. They sampled the product and uh, eventually agreed to talk to us. And uh, we're in stores uh, all the way down La Jolla, San Diego, Pasadena, out in the L.A. area, uh, Fairfax, uh, West Hollywood. How, how so, cool uh, is that to walk into Whole Foods and see your product on the shelf? That must have been a real thrill the first time you did it. Now, i got to ask you a question. When, you, when they finally did carry your product, did you actually go out to the store just to see it? 
Well, you know, it says there in fine, fine print, and you probably never see it, but it says distributed by, and it says Kistler's on that little uh, SKU number there. And uh, yeah, that uh, matter of fact, I had to had to take one of those for my uh, for my uh, you know my keepsake. I I can imagine <laughs> as much. Now, one of the things I wanted to say is that you you like answer the phone. That's like customer service. You know, living up to your responsibilities and saying thank you. Then the other thing that's implemented is that. You know, hair hasn't changed much over the last couple of hundred years, but you're actually doing something that your clients like with their hair. So one of the things that is interesting to me is how much similar that is to our business. It's all about customer service. It's all about bringing the innovative products. It's all about how you put it together. And Jennifer, same way. What is your website? Uh, we're at oleaessence.com. It's olea, O-L-E-A. S-E-S-S-E-N-C-E dot com and uh, it has all the products up there and it tells about my wife and I and our business and uh, we're designing, uh, we're excited, we're in the midst of designing a new website, uh, we've had this site for a little over three years and we're just growing and uh, you know it's just we, it sometimes pulls us along and sometimes we push it along, the business it is, uh, you know it's just, uh, it's the way businesses are like children, so it does happen that way. <laughs> now. 